this is where the magic happens, at the International Expo. That infectious energy. Good morning, Cleveland! The constant curiosity. You guys obviously are growing some huge fruit out there. That's His phenomenal. overwhelming desire to do good. We are done. Thank you for changing our lives. Not to mention, he's done a lot for the popularity of that big old hunk of plastic called the megaphone. I'll never put down the megaphone! Oh. Home renovation king Ty Pennington has become a worldwide sensation. From his days on trading spaces to his current hosting gig on Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Oh, and his magazine, his books, his furniture line, even a show in the UK. Ty has amassed many a fan. And it has a lot of folks wondering, what makes Ty tick? And we're digging for answers. Carpenter, uh, author, you know, designer, philanthropist, what do you think you identify with most? Just artist. Artist? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I've always been, you know I mean? And that's the thing about a designer is like, you can design furniture, but I also design, you know, album covers and artwork. And so, I mean, you're really just an artist. And design is just taking one through it, uh, one, one element and making sure it sort of matches and ties in with everything else. So everything has a reason, but it's still visual art. And, sure. and like, I'm just a very visual person. I'm just glad I could actually find an outlet that, you know, I'm pretty good at. So, I mean, most artists are always looking for that outlet. That you is know? true. I think I just got very lucky. I read somewhere that you were, you know, you were a carpenter working part time in college to pay the bills. Are you I don't Bar know if that's true. Has Barbara Walters called you or something? Is this like, are we, are we, hello, Barbara? Am I on the? So, wait, go ahead. I'm sorry. Finish you know, question. there's always one job that gets you hooked. That, you know, that one job where you say, okay, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna keep going with this. Right. Do you remember that first job that kept you in carpentry? No, I wasn't really. I was never that great of a carpenter, honestly. I was, I was okay. I was just like, like I was above average. Okay. But. It's more of, of knowing that you, you designed something that's groundbreaking that no one else has ever done. And I remember, I remember the drawing I had with my mom one time and she said, oh my God, this is really good. And I was like, that's what they said at school. And uh, it, it's more about that moment that you know that, wow, you might actually have a gift at something, especially when you weren't so gifted in other areas and sure. you know this is, this is what I'm good at. But you know, there's also that moment where you design a piece of furniture and you realize, wow, this is actually really good. This isn't stolen from any other idea. This is, it's all original and you know, okay, I might be, be good at what I do. And then and it's that belief in yourself that that's when you realize, okay, there's the path. Now all you have to do is just walk forward. But Ty didn't walk, he ran, turning his talents into an incredibly successful brand. It takes up a lot of my time when I'm on the show. Yes, I'm designing a new line for Howard Miller. You know, I'm working on those designs and make, and like, and I believe in, and cool furniture should have some surprise, you know? Because as human beings, we're evolving, and I think furniture has to evolve as well. But yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of what I've done, and I'm glad that I do have a, a, a good brand, a solid brand, but I'm not doing it just to put my name on it. I really care about it. His incessant work ethic keeps Ty on the road most of the year. But coming to events like this not only gives him the opportunity to connect with his fans, but it also fosters his creativity. We've got young and old checking out like the future of homes. This is really exciting stuff, I have to say. Um, I'm getting ideas just everywhere I look. So uh, it's great. You can check out new trends, get new ideas. And Ty documents it all. You could say he's a photo fanatic and his camera is apparently one of his favorite tools. I was watching you taking pictures of some of, you know, some of the different ideas here. Right. And it was really interesting to me um, Go ahead, sure. Oh. Right. Yeah, see, I okay. do it all the time. Yeah, and that one should be a race. Right, I probably will. Yeah. Right away, yeah. I think you should definitely do but that. But no, yes, I do. I, I shoot a lot of pictures because I, I, I capture ideas with it. And like, not only is it a reminder instead of a business card, but it's also a reminder of like, what's out there. Um, but sometimes, no matter what I take, you know, I, I use that creatively to come up with an idea or a pattern that I, I'll repeat, turn into wallpaper, who knows? Like this accent wall. Ty took a photo of a forest and turned it into the living room's focal point. Um, and that turned out like really, really nice. I love the way that turned out. If you ask Ty what ultimately drives him in life, well, let's just say that he actually can see the forest for the trees. For me, uh, I've always been able to work with these really well. And, you know, so now I get to do it in a major, in a bigger way that makes a huge difference for, for families. And, and uh, it's, it's an awesome thing.